say. Let's go dance. Pretend like we like each other. <coughs> You're watching the Christiana 321. I am the, the Christiana. Christiana. And today is Vlogmas Day. Seven. <laughs> Twenty-four. Wow, you skipped ahead. I feel like you may have missed a couple of my videos. I don't think so. So if you've missed any of my videos, go back and watch them. There's a lot. Not all of them are that great, though, so uh, maybe skip around. Anyway. There's at least seven, including this one. <laughs> uh, so we celebrated our personal Christmas a little bit early. If you watched yesterday's video, you know. Um, and so we wanted to share some of the cool things that we got for each other. Mm -hmm. um, I just got like really warm all of a sudden. I've been roasty toasty all night. I need to take this thing off, I think. <laughs> um, we're gonna do this in one take though, so we're gonna like we'll be quick. No, we won't. <laughs> yeah, we we ramble. Go you on ramble. Oh. oh. I never ramble, I'm very straight to the point. Um, so the first one that I'm gonna uh, show you guys that he got me are these socks that uh like so you put your foot in here and then it looks like it's eating your leg. Cute. I got, you're gonna notice some themes here. I got the little guide to Seinfeld. I got the soup Nazi. I got the Jerry puffy shirt. And Mandel bomb. Mandel bomb. She still doesn't know what that means. Yeah, I sort of understand the reference, but only because you explained it to me. But I can lift that TV. Probably. Anyway. <laughs> Love you. I know what we're watching while we're driving down. While I'm driving, I'm not watching anything. Mm, we'll see about that. Um, so then, uh, I was going to have them kind of like together. But he also got me a few different crafty things. Because I do all those crafty things where I'm trying to figure out my next thing. This one, oh you can't see because the, the sticker is poorly placed. But it's one of the little crochet um, doodobbers. But it, it's a little pot of sunflowers, which if you saw how my house was decorated, um, it's supposed to be just for the spring and summer, but for a long time, uh, I had a lot of sunflowers at my old place. Uh, I got next theme, National Lampoon's Department 56 figurines and vacation on VHS. <laughs> um... Okay, well, if we're going to go with themes, I've got a bunch of books. So, oh, I love books. He gave them to me. I got this Jane Austen box set, which I've read almost every single Jane Austen book. Um, I have a couple left. Like, I think of these ones, I'm just missing Sense and Sensibility. I think I've read the other ones. Maybe Mansfield Park. I need to go back. They're all very similar, but wonderful. Pride and Prejudice is my favorite book after all. And then I also got How to Talk to Your Cat About Gun Safety and a bunch of other hilarious topics such as What about birth control? Surely premarital sex is okay if my cat is protected. Both of my cats are spayed, so they are protected. Um, I've talked to my cat about evolution. What comes next? And uh, is it even legal for my cat to own a gun? All very important topics. Java and Fortran and I are going to have some serious conversations uh, when we get back. And we could get a whole collection of guns and put them in the cat's names so the government can't take them away from us. Oh, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, and then he very sweetly got the book Automating Inequality that uh, I mentioned very recently because I only heard about it very recently. But I, meant, I mentioned it in a joking way. Not actually expecting him to get it because I, like, later that day bought it for myself. Um, but I, I should just know that you're much sweeter than... You should get me for. this for Christmas. Let me immediately buy it for myself. That was a joke. I didn't think there was any way that you were going to be able to get this in time for Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, or that you would even remember the, like, random book that I mentioned. Um, next theme... Oh, there's one more book, though. Oh, hold on. 
Um, the last one, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, is this book from the 40s about power plant engineering, which I engineer power plants, but I do digital controls in power plants, which for the most part, I don't think existed when this book was written. Um, but it is just like a really interesting piece of history in my field. Hmm. Okay, now you go. More themes. Lighthouses. This is the Kimberly Point Lighthouse. I'm sure you've seen it in her videos from time to time. Yeah, when I used to film out by the water in, in you know, all the time, that's the one that was nearby. And then the old Mackinac Point Lighthouse. I've almost been here. I didn't even know there was a lighthouse there. I was like three football fields away from this. I was trying to get him ones that I knew that he had seen, and he's talked about being at like Mackinac Island and Mackinac and all this several times, and we've talked about that we've got to do a trip there, so I assumed he knew about the Mackinac Lighthouse. That was my bad. It's not even on Mackinac Island, though. It's in Mackinac City. I didn't know those were two different things. Yeah. But there's like a big park at the end of the Mackinac Bridge on the mainland side, and, or I guess the, the troll side, because the bridge doesn't go to the island, um, and I was standing under the bridge by the visitor's center, didn't realize this was like 16 blue whales away. <laughs> um, and then also on theme for lighthouses, a puzzle! <laughs> and the Nubble Light is the only one on here that I know I've been to. I've been to there twice. It's in Maine. It's one of my favorite lighthouses. It's on a giant rock. It <laughs> rocks. I even bought a t-shirt there. Um, so he's a fan of lighthouses. I don't know if that's come up before. <laughs> I love lighthouses. Um, I have three ornaments. One is the Starbucks cup with a little Mickey Mouse on it. Uh, I think I showed it in my Disneyland vlog, uh, from over Thanksgiving. Then it, an ornament from our trip to the Balloon Festival. And then this one that is not for a specific event other than we met online and it's got our names on it. And your name is spelt right. And my name is spelt right, which is very I rare for me. Jumped through a lot of hoops to make that happen. <laughs> but you didn't mention that the little cup, I had to be really sneaky and somehow hide that from her the whole time we were at Disney. Yeah. Did you get it early in the day? Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Very impressive. It's uh, not like I was putting my hands in your pockets. You should have. All right, next. Um, we got food stuff. Spicy ketchup from Whataburger. We'll add it to our ketchup collection. We've got four bottles of ketchup in the fridge. Um, I've got a dip holder. It goes into the vent of your car so you can put your barbecue sauce in it and get barbecue sauce all over your AC vents. I got mac and cheese cheese powder, which says 28 servings, but this seems like one box of mac and cheese to me. And then... <laughs> A cow puzzle, but it's all in Chinese, and I open the box, and the parts all have China. They're labeled in Chinese, and I don't speak French, so I don't, I'm don't know if I'll be able to figure it out. It's supposed to be a puzzle where you put together the like the different cuts of a cow, and he's talking about getting a cow, you know, buying half a cow and keeping it in the freezer or whatever. So I thought that would be cute. Online, where I ordered it. I had no indication that it was going to be in Chinese. <laughs> Maybe I did, and I just got too excited about the cow. I don't know. Okay, um, so for my next one, my favorite one, Taylor Swift. Uh, so he got this, I guess, at the concert that we went to. <coughs> and was also Are able... You okay? I like saw, uh, like spit went down the wrong bit, uh, and he was able to hide this from me the whole time, which what I'm really learning is he's really good at hiding things from me, so I don't mm -hmm. know if that's actually a good thing. She doesn't even know about my other family. Uh -huh. I mean, whoops! What I didn't say. It. Java, was that you? But so it's this little bracelet, and each of the gems. Uh, if you're a fan of Taylor Swift, you know each of her albums has a different color that is associated with it. So each of the gems are the different colors from the different albums. Era's tour, each gem represents a different era. It's so pretty. It uh, is so perfect. I went to the gift 
counter, merch counter thing alone to sneakily get a gift. And everything they had was way too big to hide. Even that was hard to have in my pocket. It's like this big. And... <laughs> and they didn't even have it up there. They just had a bunch of little boxes. And I pointed, what's that? But my other option was buying her a shirt and wearing it underneath my shirt. And it would have been all smelly. And I wouldn't have washed it before I gave it to her. Because you can't wash a gift. That's true. Also, washing... Taylor Swift merch has uh, burned some people in the past. Mm, is she known for poor quality? Specifically with some of the clothing items, yeah. Mm. It's weird. Um, but it's like uh, you need to iron on the decals when you get home. The decals that are already on there. But if you like re-iron them yourself and then you wash it, it's fine or something? I don't know. I Great. don't buy her so shirts. So I have to pay three times the value of this shirt and then I need to manufacture it? Basically, it, there's a lot of controversy, especially right at the beginning of the tour of some of the quality of the merch, which is weird, um, like, considering, um, like, the other elements of her business. That's just one area that she's taken on, and it's not been great. It's not one of her best eras? Ha, <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, I got a Back to the Future shirt. <laughs> It's from Roosevelt. Yeah, the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. <laughs> I like it. I got a bunch of Packers merch. Sorry, Dad. She's a Packer fan now. <laughs> uh, Fleece-lined Packers beanie. This one's so cute, honestly. I... Fleece-lined or Sherpa-lined? What's the difference? Fleece is fleece and Sherpa is Sherpa. That's Sherpa. Okay, Sherpa-lined. Um, then Packers, like, uh, pullover, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then a Brett Favre jersey so that I can stop borrowing his. And apparently she thought that I was also going to surprise her with tickets to the Packers-Bears game in January, which might still be on the table. We'll see what prices are like. I'll make you sit out in the cold. It's going to be fun. I hope it snows. Uh, what else do I have? I have books, I know, but they're fun books. There's Find the Cat, it's like Where's Waldo, but there are cats hidden. And I could pee on this. <laughs> I already tried to pee on this book, though. Oh. I didn't have to go, though. Mm. So I think it's like a collection of poems that are supposed to be from the point of view of a cat. Meow. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow! Well, why aren't you laughing? I must have told the joke wrong. That's what it says. <laughs> um, got me a gift pack of this perfume that is, like, the only perfume that I wear. I am okay with the idea of um, branching out, but I tried this perfume in high school and it's just stuck. I love it so much. But because this is the perfume that I wore in high school and that was 15 years ago, it's not always super easy to find. So I've been on my like last little, I don't even know, a tenth of an ounce or something for a very long time. So I'm excited to have a refill. I don't even know what it smells like because she wears it so rarely. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like really diluted. <laughs> it's mostly water now. Um, I got a little lantern. And I've got a little Coleman lantern that's like much smaller than this. It's like one one hundred thousandth of a football field. Mm. And this is like one fifty thousandth of a football field. I'm trying to use measurements that people will understand. Mm. And so it's going to go right next to it. Some Diet Coke earbuds. Got a travel tripod. This is really for you guys. So whenever I'm recording in hotel rooms or when I'm like, I don't know, wherever the heck I end up on a random Tuesday, um, <laughs> I'm not just like tilting my phone against a piece of furniture. Um, so really, this is for y'all. 
How many times have you seen her phone fall down on a video when she's in a hotel room somewhere? I'm not even a hotel room. Like, everywhere. Mm. Like, whenever I was at the, or I was doing the, the things that I love about Green Day video, I had it up on a gazebo. <laughs> it just fell off. I don't even know if I edited that video. I think I did. I'm not a lot of stuff here. Um... I got a present. <laughs> but it's got a very unsafe thing, a fireplace with no chimney, and there's a broom in a very hazardous location in relation to the fireplace. You, like, grouped a bunch of stuff together. Well, they were all kind of a matching theme. Okay, well, I've got this dino pen and a dino little, like, book figurine, except I think this is more of a dragon. It's called Wings. It's two of her favorite things, dinosaurs and books. Yeah. Um, I got this stemless wine glass with a little Christmas tree in the middle. I am a little worried about how to clean this. You put it in the dishwasher. That's how you clean everything. Well, you bought it, so if you're okay with that. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be so fine. So it's hand wash only, not microwave safe. Well, we know it's not going to get hand washed, so we'll just put it in the dishwasher. I like hand washing things. Mm. Well, that's my preference. Um... Another crafty thing, embroidery kit, a uh, oven mitt from uh, the nuclear his or Los Alamos History Museum that we went to. I had to quickly run through the gift shop while she was pooping to find that. Yeah, there were several of, I mean, yeah, we've already talked about, he had to be sneaky for a lot of these um, that he bought while we were on trips together, rather than spending time together. You were pooping and you won't let me in the bathroom when you're pooping. How are we going to spend time together? And I got some coal. And, oh, I got this monitor extender thing for also when I travel. But probably more for work because I don't really bring my uh, personal computer, which is why I never edit um, the videos that I film in hotel rooms, hardly ever. She told me once that she hates working with just one screen. It's like a completely different experience. And she travels sometimes for work. And I didn't know they made portable computer monitors, but they do. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. I, I gotta try it out. I'm not I'm not sure how exactly it'll work. Because I've seen different ones. And I've seen some that you attach to like the back of your screen. And then they like extend out on both sides. And I've seen like all kinds of different ways of hooking it up. So I'll have to experiment with it and see how it goes. Um, and then there are a bunch of other things. But this video is already very long. <laughs> Did you have anything else that you wanted to? Yeah. Oh yeah. The giant chicken. <laughs> Did you already talk about the birds? Did I? Do I guess the only other bird was the ornament. Oh. Did I take that down? I and don't... a duck. <laughs> um. But yeah, so those are some oh, of the highlights I of I forgot the... my favorite one, though. Oh. I think it's still on the table. Oh no, run! Uh. Oh. This was your favorite one. Yeah, because I can hit you with it. Show them the eyes. <laughs> Alright, I hope everybody has a super Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I don't know, darling, Yes. can we please finish this video? Is this domestic battery if I'm not actually the one hitting you? You are. <laughs> it's like, I didn't kill her, the gun killed her. Uh, it's Santa's the one punching you, not me. <laughs> Let me know what you would like to see more of in the new year. I'll take away your gifts. Take away mine. I don't want to have to edit this. We've got so much stuff we got to do tonight. Stop. I love you. Mm -hmm. Sure you do. <laughs> Let me know what you want to see more of in the new year. I don't know if I'll have any more videos between now and the end of the year. So if I don't see you again, happy new years. Have a great one. Um, think about those resolutions and we'll have some more talks about it because I got some ideas. Like I've got the ones that I've already sent, but I've got I've got more ideas. I know what they want to see in the new year. What? More boxing matches between you and Santa. No, it's my gift. I'm supposed to use it to assault you. Good night. Two <laughs> games.